Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please make sure to subscribe and push on the little right there. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you, thank you so much for coming back to my lovely, beautiful channel. So today I am back with an academically related video. Is it an academically related video? It's an academic related video. It's an academic related. Okay, it's an academic academic related video. So I'm back, guys. So today I am going to be explaining or sharing my experience of doing LB my first year. So I'm gonna have a series, I'm gonna start with my LB first year, and I'm gonna post another video depending on how well this one does, um, on my second year experience, and also my third year experience. When I finally do my fourth year, I'm also gonna post that. So with regards to my first year experience, guys, um, um, the reason why I'm making this video now is because I know a lot of um, people, especially those who are in high school, like those kids who are in matric, who wanna like, you know, apply and come to university. Right now, they're like really considering a lot of options, also, um, you know, including LLB. So I just wanna maybe like, you know what, share my experience so that you get to know what you would experience when you come to do your first year, you know, so that you're not like in the dark when you finally come to do your first year in LLB if you get accepted. And I'm also sharing this for those who are like already doing LLB right now, still the beginning of the year. I feel like what I have to share right now could be very helpful to any student who's doing LLB first year um, in whichever university. So yeah, let's just get on to the video without wasting time. So um, let me just start here. LLB is a very um, <sighs> LLB is a lot of work. I don't wanna lie, it is really a lot of work, especially for someone who procrastinates a lot. It's very, it's gonna be a, a demanding course. It it needs one to study almost every day if you don't want to feel stressed if you want to feel stressed then try to not study every day then you'll see it's a very like it's a lot of like i don't want to lie to anyone it's demanding okay let's just start there it's demanding if you want to come and do lb be someone who's very interested in theory who really likes reading things who really like taking notes because it doesn't end at reading because i also myself sometimes get tired of just taking notes because my head would be hurting like this you see this thing i never had this thing in high school this thing is forming because when i hold my pen it's always there and because i'm writing a lot of things a lot of notes it just forms so yeah and then you can see like on my left hand it's not there but on my right hand it's there because i use my right hand to write so it's it's really a lot of reading course a lot of note taking course so if you want to study llb you should be someone who is really like very like interested in theory like generally speaking if you are not interested in theory at all you could take it if you are interested in like you know law in general just a lot of vibes in there but then don't watch movies don't watch series like how to get away with murder or suits or any other movie on you know <laughs> law related stuff and think when you come to study llb that's how it's gonna be no it's very different it's very different like in movies usually they only cover criminal law um parts of law they don't cover all of these other things that you would need to study although you don't even have interest in right so obviously criminal law is very interesting because you just you know not today. but then with these other models it can get a bit tricky and then it, even with criminal law right as much as it, it is interesting it gets like it gets very annoying because it's also like a lot of work so yeah let's just get on to the first part of the video and the first part of the video i'm going to be um you know telling you guys the models that i did in my first year at the university of johannesburg um disclaimer um, models differ university from university depending on whether you're or whether or not you're doing llb whether or not you're doing ba law whether or not you are doing um become law so models do differ but then with me well, I was like doing um, LLB um, in my first year, first semester. I was doing, I'm just gonna list them somewhere here or here. I was doing law of persons, um, legal skills, um, introduction to legal studies, um, developmental studies 1A, and English, English 1C. So th those are the models that I was doing. And okay. Let me just elaborate each and every one of these models. 
with English 1C, right? The, um, that is the model that I tutor right now. So I did this model um, in 2020 in my LB first year. So what they do there, they teach you um, basics on how you can properly write essays. They teach you how to construct sentences from sentences, paragraphs, from paragraphs, a whole, um, you know, paper and they also teach you how to to write objectively how to write things in a formal way actually basically what how to write an academic essay or anything academically like something that is worth reading in an academic sense so that's what they teach you in english one scene they also teach you english um rules you know those rules in english um you know complex sentencing, how to use complex sentencing in academic writing, how to not be personal when you're writing or academic writing, everything that you need to know basically is just like introductions, right? That's English 1C. And the second model that I did was Law of Persons. With Law of Persons, I don't remember exactly, you know, the theory that we learned it was the right of unborn children, what we call Nascituros Adej. That's also what I remember. Um, yeah, so they teach a lot of weird things on love persons, but very interesting stuff. So yeah, they also teach you how to find missing people, like missing persons, how to deal with such situations, termination of pregnancies, because that has to do with unborn children and their status, um, status of a person, because everyone has a status. Some people don't have status to appear in court. Some people have status to appear in court. Ah, I'm trying to remember it. it's coming back, you know, it's coming back as I'm talking. So yeah, status, that's the most part of law of persons, status. The kappa, the kappa, this is the capacity to, 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 to litigate, the capacity to make claims. And if you don't have the capacity, who can, you know, make claims in, on your behalf, those kind of things, that's what they teach us in law of persons so the third model that i did in my first year um first semester was developmental studies 1a developmental studies 1a is a humanities model so what they teach you there is develop developmental stuff they change textbooks year to year so in my year we did a lot of history um we did a lot of history yeah we did a lot of history like a lot of history but in second semester it became interesting for me because we we're doing um this other book called why nation <laughs> why nations fail and for me it was very interesting because it would compare economies of the economies of of all continents in the world and conclude why these countries are prosperous today or they are failing today that's why it's called why nations fail so let me just give you a direct example so um you know now north korea and south korea you know north korea is bad economically but south korea is very you know prosperous economically so what they do there they will compare as to why did north korea do wrong what did South Korea do right? Who colonized North Korea? Who didn't colonize whoever? Like Zimbabwe, VSC, South Africa, Botswana, which is now becoming very developed. So that's what they do. They just compare um, different um, economies in the world, South versus North America, right? So that's what I did in English, not in, in uh, developmental studies, uh, developmental studies 1A. Okay, so, the other model that I did was legal skills. So in legal skills, legal skills is a semester model at UJ. They only teach it um, in first semester. So in that model, they taught us how to, the basics of law actually, how to reference in law, how to, yeah, it was mainly on referencing. What else did, did they teach us in legal schools? Oh yeah, how to find, um, document how to find case laws how to find how to you know navigate yourself in the library that's what they taught us basically it's just basics things that you need you know to to be able to do this whole llb thing so that's what they taught us how to reference how to use the uh, referencing technique how to put in footnotes how to reference with footnotes reference list in footnotes that's just a lot so that's what i did in legal skills and the last model that I did in first semester was introduction to legal studies. So introduction to legal studies was a year model, but I don't want to say year models because I'm going to confuse you guys. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't develop. 
I did introduction to legal studies. So introduction to legal studies basically they what they do they they um they introduce you to the whole LLB degree as a whole from beginning to end. So in the beginning, they will teach you different ways in which law came about from the Roman Dutch law to us being colonized to us receiving or their laws being imposed on us. I remember this because my lecturer used to always emphasize we didn't receive these colonizers rules. They were imposed on us. I remember you always used to emphasize that point. But yeah, they taught us that in introduction to legal studies. They also taught us different um, branches of law that you can actually venture into um, when you graduate or whatever. So they teach us criminal, they will teach you criminal law stuff in general, law of contract stuff in general, law of obligations in general, law of difference between private and public law, all these kind of kind of laws. That's why they basically teach us in introduction to legal studies. So fast forward, second semester. In second semester, I did English 1D. So English 1D is a build up of English 1C. I can even know first semester I did English 1C, second semester English 1D. So in English 1D, what they teach you now is to write a whole essay. I get it in the first semester, they were teaching us basics on how to write a sentence, how to read, how to do this, how to reference, how to, you know, how to write paragraphs, how to write a whole, you know, whatever. So now that we've learned that in English 1C, in English 1D, you write a whole entire essay using the basics and the rules that you taught, you were taught in first semester in English 1C. That's how you can simplify it. Yeah, so English, um, that's what I did in English 1D, so in second semester. The other model that I did in second semester was um, Developmental Studies 1B. Developmental Studies 1B, I've already elaborated. They taught us why nations fail. The first semester, I forgot the book because the book was not interesting at all. So, yeah. Um, and the third model that I did in second semester was Developmental Studies, obviously because it's a year model, so it, it extended from first semester to second semester. And that's what they taught us, basically, the different part, branches of law. And the last model that I did in second semester, there were four now because I dropped legal studies, right? So in first semester, I did five. In second semester, I did four. So um, the last model was law of family. So law of family and law of persons were quite, like they were together and they were a year model, but I just separated them so that you guys get what's happening. So in law of family, they teach you, basically when I started reading the law of family, I started with marriage and I ended with divorce. So they teach you these whole rules are surrounding marriage, family, and you know, divorce. Basically, that's what they taught us. Killing yellow fella in the law of family. What else? Yeah, they taught us killing yellow. So, yeah, so that's what um, built up my first year LLB course. Um, that's what I did. So, if you're going to come to UJ to study LLB, basically, unless they change, which I doubt they will, you're gonna do the same models and um, besides um, English 1C and 1D, because with English 1C and D, you can choose to do English for law and they usually say you should do English for law if your mark symmetric for English were too bad but yeah and also you can choose to do other humanities models not developmental studies other people did economics other people did politics other people did um sociology psychology you, you just choose one of humanities models when you're doing LLB and yeah this the rest of it's gonna be the same it's gonna be law of persons and the family legal skills and introduction to legal studies so that's what i did in my first year and overall i would rate my first year experience <laughs> and difficultness of the course um a 10 out of 10 it was it was simple it was so simple compared to what i'm doing right now in third year it was so simple guys like first year was a walk in a park and yeah they make that like i feel like they make it so simple so that you feel comfortable so you relax and you be like oh my god i'm here and i'm in a chowing course going to know in second third year course is gonna start chowing you so yeah first year is quite simple i don't wanna lie when you come to university you're gonna feel like oh my god people lied to me and all this actually not difficult <laughs> <laughs> no, first year is not difficult. Wait until second year, Uzobon. Wait until third year, Uzobon. So it's just when when you um 
when you elevate from first year to second year it's gonna become a bit difficult when you go to from second year to third year it's gonna become even more difficult and i feel like that applies to other like to these other courses as well first year is always nice it's always the best time to experience anything you want to experience because you have so much time and everything is just simple and you can literally just call the lecturer and tell him oh my god i couldn't write because i am breaking down mentally they were like okay write another paper or <laughs> whatever um yeah this is just nice guys i would give it a 10 out of 10 because i got a total in love family and that for me was a week i don't even know why i'm sharing this here but yeah i got a total of bed for total so that just shows that it was so simple so yeah and guys tell me below if you want to know more about lb second year in my next video or in a part two of these kind of videos so yeah guys um if you have any question other than part two or whatever you can always drop it below and i know some of you guys are gonna ask me about the requirements for llb just go to the prospectus is written there Mm, yeah and don't aim for the minimum requirement let's say if the minimum requirement is 30 points or 30 aps aim for 40 or 35 or 38 in your matrix so that you spend a higher chance of studying lb because a lot of kids with lb are kids who are very bright in their schools and those bright kids they have a lot of points because child did well so just make sure that you also do well and yeah you qualify to do lb thank you for watching this video i hope it was so informal because i really hate formality uh, but then bye